and welcome back to SEO Crash Course for WordPress users. This video is about optimizing images before you upload them to your WordPress and after. You may be tempted to just click the Add Media button and select your image as is. It's a no-no, guys. Problem is, doing so may cause pretty severe issues both for your site's general performance and SEO rankings. Thing is, Google does not really know what is depicted on your images unless you somehow prompt it. The first way to give Google an idea what is on your image is to use a descriptive alt attribute. It's also referred to as image alt tag, but actually it's an attribute. So, once you upload your image and add it to your post, be sure to give it a keyword rich alt value. It means your alt value should both contain your keyword and describe the image itself. That would be ideal. For example, you add an image with the funny cat, just like that, click open, and you totally need to use something like funny cat or something along those lines in your image alt attribute over here. So I'm just typing in funny cat and I'm good to go because it both uh, contains the keyword that I'm optimizing my page for and uh, it describes the, uh, the image that I'm uh, inserting to my, into my uh, b blog post. Alright, let's move on. If you just bought an image and you're ready to upload it to your WordPress, hold your horses. You better rename it so that your image file name contains the keyword you want to optimize your page for. You can just uh, open your image in Finder or Explorer if you're in Windows. Click your image file name twice. Not double click, but specifically click twice. Once you can edit, just rename it to something that contains your uh, keyword. In my case, it's going to be funny cat. Click enter. Also, be sure to use dashes to uh, separate uh, words in case your file name contains multiple words. Other than doing it for specifically SEO, it also makes sense to change your uh, uh, image file names for image search results. Thing is, Google tends not to show the same or similar images in search results. If you use an image that is already ranked in Google, renaming it gives you more chances that uh, your image will be ranked high as well. As a matter of fact, it's best practice to use uh, both unique image names and images themselves. But uh, it requires certain budget or time. That's because you need to either hire someone who will uh, design images for you, buy images, or just uh, you need to uh, learn how to create them on your own. And moving on, one more reason not to use your image as is. If you do so, chances are you'll use either an image of too low quality or of too high quality. Be sure to always use the image size you actually need. If you use an image of too low quality, it'll get pixelated if you enlarge it. For example, if I enlarge this image, as you can see, it's getting real pixelated, just like so. In case your image is of uh, too high quality, it'll drastically slow down your site. Plus, your site visitors won't see all the beauty of your image you're trying to show them, because monitors just won't show more than 72 dpi, which is dots per inch, unless it's a retina monitor. Speaking of which, if you want to make sure that your site is displayed properly on retina monitors, you may want to install the WP Retina 2X plugin on your WordPress. This plugin creates retina ready images automatically. Okay, now let's see how exactly it works. You can edit your image dimensions right in your WordPress dashboard. Just log into your admin panel. Now go to uh, Media, Add New. Now select your image. Once your image has been uploaded, click the Edit link and the uh, Edit Image button. The current dimension of the image is uh, 
2100 per 1181 pixels, which is way more than I actually need because I usually use images not wider than 650 pixels. In order to tweak it to the right width, you need to click the uh, scale image option over here. This will uh, open up a window that allows you to proportionally resize your image. I'm just specifying the width I need, which is 650 pixels, and the height is generated automatically. As you can see, it's uh, 366 pixels. Now I just uh, click the scale button, and before you know it, you'll have new image dimensions. Just click the update button, and you can see it right here. Alternatively, you can do the same in Photoshop. Let me show you how. So here is the uh, huge image opened uh, in Photoshop. Now, expand the image drop-down menu and select image size. At this point, you can just specify the width and the height will adjust automatically, just like in WordPress. Just make sure that the uh, constraint proportions uh, checkbox is ticked. Okay, so I'm specifying that I need uh, the width of uh, 650 pixels and then I click OK. Now you just need to uh, save your image for the web. Go to File and select Save for Web. Which brings us to another aspect to keep in mind while working with images. Image file formats. You need to save your image in the most optimal format. It should both uh, look decent enough and not take up too much size. There are three main image formats out there, such as GIF or GIF, JPEG and PNG. You want to use a GIF file format for logos and other graphics with the solid color areas. What's more, this image file format also supports simple transparency. At the same time, it's not a good format for images with lots of details, like photos, gradients and stuff like that. The JPEG image format allows you to store a deluge of colors, plus the file size of your image stays pretty lightweight. On the dark side, the image file format does not support transparency and it's a lossy format. That means every time you edit uh, the image in Photoshop and save it, your image loses quality every time you save, and quite drastically. And if you are okay with a GIF image, but uh, it's just missing some features, you most likely should go for PNG because it also supports transparency, more advanced than uh, GIF though, and it's a lossless file format, unlike JPEG which means it won't lose quality if you edit and save it for a few times. But being lossless, your PNG images will be heavier than JPEG ones. So now let's uh, get back to Photoshop and see which image format we should save it in. As you can see, I have GIF selected here. Since the image has lots of details and gradients, the GIF file format option just won't work in this case. And uh, you can pretty clearly see it here. We can select uh, PNG, but uh, the image has no transparent areas, so we don't really need uh, uh, this feature. So PNG won't work either. And uh, if we opt for JPEG, it looks pretty good. So that's the file format that we are left off with. Plus, it's working pretty good for us. It allows us to save your image with lots of details, as you can see, and it keeps file size to a minimum. As you can see, it's just about uh, 10 uh, kilobytes. Alrighty, let's move on. Specific width and height. Thing is, if you explicitly define the width and height of your images, the browser saves that spot for your image before it actually loads the image. If you don't define the width and height for your image, the browser has to spend extra time and efforts to figure out what area a specific image will need. That slows down your site speed and consequently negatively influences your SEO rankings. So if you insert an image uh, with the wrong dimensions, let's say this one, and uh, we want it to be something like that, I insert the image, now it's giving me the following dimensions and say I'm not happy with the height 
I delete the height. For starters, it can result in uh, displaying your image wrongly. And secondly, it'll slow down your site, even if uh, the image is displayed properly. So always specify your uh, both width and height, because it'll make your site work faster. Moving on. Descriptive text for images. Adding descriptive text to your images is another way to tell Google what is in your image. Every time you add an image to your WordPress, there is a way to specify some descriptive text for it. You can just go to uh, Media, Library, and click the name of the image you'd like to uh, add or edit description for. For example, this one. Just type it in in the uh, description area right here. What's more, you can do that uh, right while adding an image to your blog post. You should have this option on the right hand of your WordPress media library. Go to your post, hit the Add Media button, select your image, and see the Attachment Details uh, block. And that's actually where you can see the uh, description option right here. Just like before, you can type in your description. And the last thing to consider, keyword proximity. You want to use your keyword before and after your image. It'll give Google another hint and proof that your image is exactly what you're trying to prove it is. As a matter of fact, it happens pretty naturally for the most part, but you still may need to check that from time to time. Now you know how to properly use images in your WordPress so that it gains you both awesome site performance and SEO benefits. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Did you happen to make sure that your WordPress site is A-OK -okay in terms of on-page and technical SEO? No? Thing is, if you did not properly take care of your WordPress SEO, your site will not rank as high as it could. Take my SEO crash course for WordPress users and you'll be able to fix all your on-page and technical WordPress SEO issues, such as um, installing and configuring SEO plugins, robots.txt, XML sitemaps, uh, using synonyms, um, and uh, you know image optimization, video SEO, permalinks, and the list goes on and on. This course allows you to put your WordPress SEO in order quickly and efficiently. Just click the button to learn more. Are you still there? Since you are, please like the video by clicking this like thumbs up option. Also, you can share uh, this, this video on your favorite social media platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, Google+, you name it. Other than that, you may want to comment just like that. and. If you want to be sure that you never miss out on my awesome vids, just subscribe to the channel by clicking this green button that says subscribe. It's gonna be so much fun!